King News, my lovely, wonderful people. Not be smarting. You know, Femi Kayo did not attack uh, Olusegu Obasanjo. He said he treated monarch like children. You should go and apologize. Or, well, guess what? The guy don't meet in Waterloo. You know, say not be everybody. You know, just the guy, they talk to everybody because there are repercussions. Now, nah, nah, I don't go talk any and I don't see anyhow. He say Olusegu Obasanjo, you know what happened? Olusegu Obasanjo and the kings, you know, um, Sheima Kinde invited them for the commissioning of a road. And Obasanjo felt it was rude that they all sat down when the king came, when uh, uh, he came in, when Sheima Kinde came in and they did not quite uh, respect his person. So these are some of the things that are happening. And um, I mean, Yoruba Council have asked Olusegu Obasanjo to apologize. And, you know, a lot of things have been going on. And this is what is happening. Femi Fani Kayo do too safe. You know, he don't put your mouth, say, uh, Basan Joshua should go and apologize. If he does not, he will do this, he will do that. But don't close him out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Talking to passengers, anyhow, as though you are in a Molwe bus. This is wrong. Femi Fani Kayo did attack ex bus. Olusegu Obasanjo for treating Oyo monarch like children. Ask him to go and apologize. Former aviation minister Femi Fanikayode has rebuked the former boss, ex-president Olusegu Obasanjo, for what he deemed as embarrassing treatment of Yoruba traditional rulers during the recent inauguration of a project in the same Oyo state. The incident occurred on Friday when Obasanjo asked the com when Obasanjo, who was attending a commissioning of a road in Isai, asked the traditional rulers to stand up and acknowledge Sheyimak in this presence, as well as his presence as former president of Nigeria. During the event, Obasanjo reportedly ordered every one of them to stand up in attention to greet the governor as an action that deemed respect to the uh, action that they see as a demeaning reputation of Olushe Sanjo disgracing them before the entire before the entire people. Expressing his dismay in the incident, Femi Fanika Yode, who served as Obasanjo's special assistant, public affair from 2003 to 2006, concerned his former boss, for ridiculing the monarch in public says he shouldn't have done that he should apologize i am deeply saddened and utterly mortified the way in which my former boss Olusegu Basanjo has referred to the traditional rulers of Yoruba land in Oyo state he ordered them to stand up and to sit down as if they were children this is the same obj that once once upon a time displayed his respect humility and and greatness by bowing down, kneeling, and prostrating before our monarchs, even when he was president. Yet today he talks to them as if they are his garage boys and collect those who are collecting money and order them around to jump up, to lie down, and to do what? As though you are driving money and you can control the passengers. This is worthless. You, you need to think about the consequences of the actions you are taking. Femi Fanika Yode wrote in his Facebook page. The former minister further criticized Olushe Basanjo's association with Peter Obi in the last election. Everything about Peter Obi saying Obasanjo's support for Peter Obi presidential bid has has made him to forget about his morals and who he really is. They really say evil association corrupt good manners. This is why he did what he did. It's because of the association. Ferrin Fanika Yode has supported, has supported uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the president of Nigeria, who, work, who he worked for during his campaign. But presently, he has not been given any position. Unlike others who have been given juicy positions, he nothing. He still supports Tinubu, thinking something will eventually drop, but nothing at the moment. He said Obasanjo needs to apologize to the traditional rulers immediately and make it public the same way he disgraced them. 
So this is Femi Fani Kayode. Femi Fani Kayode said they need to go and apologize. That Obasanjo needs to go and apologize and needs to go and apologize fast. He said because this same Obasanjo once upon a time respected traditional rulers, but today has forgotten all his respect values. He's now doing other things. He's now, you know, not not uh, respecting himself that what he has done is not acceptable. He should go and apologize to the traditional rulers. He should do this. He should do that. What happened? It's still very fresh in the hearts and the minds of people as many people are still wondering you know and trying to make sense of what really happened if obasanjo was right or he was wrong again this has sparked up a lot of reactions everybody have their opinion as to what has happened some think it is right some think obasanjo should apologize you know the the lines of divide the cuts across some feel you know the traditional rulers should have known better uh shay Mackinde is the is the governor they sh there's nothing wrong if they have accorded him that respect he comes in and they just you know acknowledge him by standing some said they don't have to do so so it's really it's really it's really here and there people are really you know caught in between if you ask me it's people are really caught in between all this is beginning to spare up a lot of uh, concerns as everybody is beginning to look and wonder you know what else could be going on and what you know what needs to happen you know so a lot of persons have told said uh, obasanjo should apologize the yoruba council of uh, chiefs have said he should apologize uh, we also know our brother oluwofiwo I've also given Obasanjo a three days ultimatum. Um, he said all, oh, but he did not say what the all oh is for. You know, then uh, Femi Fani Kayode feels that Obasanjo is losing his mind because he supported Peter Obi, and according to INEC, Peter Obi did not win. He says, so Obasanjo, who probably, I don't understand how Peter Obi got intertwined in all of it. I don't understand. But everything has to, there has to be an Obi factor in everything. Wow. This is quite serious. So being aware, I don't want to say you're famous like this. So, however, these are some of the things that are happening right about now. And we all need to pay serious and great attention to it so that at the end of the day, we know who we are and where we are headed so that together we can make a real headway and this nation can be a better place. You see, so this is what is happening and this is what we need to do. We need to ensure that no one takes over that which belongs to us. Okay. So we need to uh, we need to ensure that uh, things are done decently and in order and Nigeria becomes a better place. OK, so every time, you know, we have an opportunity to make a difference, we need to know that we must take advantage of it. There are people who do not want us to, you know, do not want us to to move forward and to make a difference. But we need to in respect of what they think or what they feel. We must ensure that we do what is right by us. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. And from us, it's bye for now. Bye-bye.